Saudi Arabian GP, F1 drivers back event to continue despite concerns after attack at Jeddah oil depot. Formula One drivers have backed the Saudi Arabian GP continuing despite the attack at an oil depot just seven miles from the Jeddah circuit, F1 and FIA release. Saturday statement reiterating that the event goes ahead as scheduled. Formula One Saudi Arabian GP is set to go ahead despite concerns from drivers after an attack on an oil depot close to the Jeddah circuit. F1's grid of 20 drivers met for over four hours after practice on Friday and talks, which included team bosses and F1 chiefs, continued until 2.30 a.m. Local time on Saturday in Saudi Arabia. Recommended. 1 5th. Saudi Arabian Grand Prix to continue as planned after. Attack at oil depot near Jeddah circuit. Read more. Recommended by. The Grand Prix Drivers Association, which all drivers are members of, released a statement on Saturday morning admitting a difficult and stressful day and human concerns in the wake of a missile attack on a nearby oil facility during Friday practice, but confirming they would continue after being assured that security measures were being elevated to the maximum. Get Sky Sports. Download the Sky Sports app. Sky Sports understands that while the lengthy meeting suggested some may have wanted to boycott, the drivers agreed that the event would continue. On Saturday morning, F1 and the FIA reiterated that final practice and qualifying would go ahead as planned later, with Sunday's race to follow. Formula One and the FIA can confirm that following discussions with all the teams and drivers, the 2022 FIA Formula One Saudi Arabian Grand Prix will continue as scheduled, read a statement. Following the widely reported incident that took place in Jeddah on Friday, there has been extensive discussion between all stakeholders, the Saudi government, authorities and security agencies who have given full and detailed assurances that the event is secure. It has been agreed with all stakeholders to maintain a clear and open dialogue throughout the event and for the future. Shortly after, a statement from the GPDA meanwhile said, Yesterday was a difficult day for Formula One and a stressful day for us Formula One drivers. Perhaps it is hard to comprehend if you have never driven an F1 car on this fast and challenging Jetta track, but on seeing the smoke from the incident it was. Difficult to remain a fully focused race driver and erase natural human concerns. Consequently, we went into long discussions between ourselves, with our team principals, and with the most senior people who run our sport. A large variety of opinions were shared and debated and, having listened not only to the Formula One powers but also to the Saudi government ministers who explained how security measures were being elevated to the maximum, the outcome was a resolution that we would practice and qualify today and race tomorrow. We therefore hope that the 2022 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix will be remembered as a good race rather than for the incident that took place yesterday. Yemen's Houthi rebel group have taken responsibility for the attack. An oil depot, around seven miles from the track and owned by F1 sponsor Aramco, was set ablaze during first practice in Saudi and a large black smoke. Cloud could be seen from the circuit. The fire was still burning late on Friday night and there was still smoke pouring into the sky on Saturday morning. Saudi Arabian authorities say there were no casualties from the attack. Final practice begins at 2 p.m. on Sky Sports F1, with qualifying to follow at 5 p.m. Slater. I can't say the drivers were absolutely unanimous. Analysis by Sky Sports News Craig Slater. They had a very long discussion yesterday, all 20 drivers, for around about four hours, the vast majority of that time dealing with concerns about the rocket attack. They sought the most robust assurances they could about the level of safety, what had gone on and how they saw things developing from here. Among those leading the conversations were the likes of Lewis Hamilton, Carlos Sainz, Pierre Gasly, Mick Schumacher as well. In the end, I can't say they were absolutely unanimous that it was the right thing to proceed, but as a group of drivers they have agreed that it is correct to carry on and that is what is happening. We've had the drivers included in both the FIA and F1 statement and also this from the GPDA. Quite poignant, wasn't it? Maybe one or two things we hadn't thought about raised by that GPDA statement, including how the drivers were feeling as they saw black clouds of smoke from close to the circuit and there driving around at speeds of 200 miles per hour.
You have to be fully concentrated to do that kind of thing and to be concerned and worried is surely very destabilizing. In the immediate aftermath, we didn't know if it was an accident or an attack, now it's confirmed it was an attack there's that extra level of concern. With Gold did it happen again? We heard the FIA president saying in effect don't worry, the Houthi rebels claiming responsibility for it are targeting infrastructure like oil depots in. What I would say, F1 and the FIA answered as best they could all the drivers questions and gave them as much time and room to ask the questions they wanted to ask. F1 and FIA presidents insist Saudi GP is safe. Before the F1 drivers continued their meetings in the Jeddah paddock, the sports president Stefano Domenicali insisted they had received support from drivers to continue and total assurance about safety from authorities. The attack took place during first practice, which continued as normal, though there was a 15-minute delay to the start of second practice as drivers in team principals met with F1 president Domenicali and the FIA's Mohammed Ben Sulaim. There was another meeting following P2, which was also attended by a Saudi delegation, after which the F1 and FIA chiefs emerged at 10.40 p.m. local time and insisted the Grand Prix would be going ahead. We have received total assurance of the country's safety first, said Domenicali. They have placed all the systems to protect this area. So, we feel confident that we have to trust the local authority in that respect. We will of course go ahead with the event. Ben Sulaim added that attackers were not targeting the track. We had meetings with the high-level security then we had meetings with the team principals and the drivers, the FIA president said. And to assure you that they are targeting the infrastructure of the economy not the civilians and, of course, not the track. Of course, we have checked the facts from them and we have had the assurance from the high authorities of the safety here and let's go racing. Mercedes boss Toto Wolff said, it was a good meeting, the drivers are going to talk now at a driver's meeting. We are the team principals, we've been. Assured we are protected here and it's probably the safest place you can be in Saudi Arabia at the moment and that's why we are racing. It was a unanimous decision by the team principals, yes. Red Bull principal Christian Horner added, I think the sport has to stand together collectively. Any act of terrorism cannot be condoned and sport shouldn't be bullied into a position, a situation like that just isnt acceptable. Stefano and the president are dealing with it, there has been all of the assurances from the organizers and well be going racing. The drivers, who had their scheduled media commitments cancelled, then met to discuss the situation. Yemen's Houthi rebel group takes responsibility for attack, no casualties reported. Neither F1 nor the FIA have confirmed the blaze was caused by an attack. However, Yemen's Houthi rebels claimed responsibility for a barrage of attacks on the kingdom, according to the Associated Press, while the Saudi motorsport company also referenced an attack. We are aware of the attack on the Aramco distribution station in Jeddah earlier this afternoon, a statement read. Hamilton calls for changes in Saudi Arabia, we need to see more. The race organizers remain in direct contact with the Saudi security authorities, as well as F1 and the FIA to ensure all necessary security and safety. Measures continue to be implemented to guarantee the safety of all visitors to the Formula 1 STC Saudi Arabian Grand Prix as well as all drivers, teams in. The race weekend schedule will continue as planned. The safety and security of all our guests continues to be our main priority and we look forward to welcoming fans for a weekend of premium racing and entertainment. The blaze was centered on the same oil depot that the Houthis had attacked in recent days. The Al Masira satellite news channel run by Yemen's Houthi rebels claimed they had attacked an Aramco facility in Jeddah, along with other targets in Riyadh and elsewhere. The report provided no further details. Saudi State TV acknowledged that a hostile operation had taken place at the Aramco facility in Jeddah, with Reuters reporting there had been no casualties in. That fire was under control. All driver media sessions were cancelled on Friday evening, although near the end of first practice for Stoppen said on team radio, I smell a bit of a burning feeling. I am not sure if it is my car, or another car. His engineer Gianpiero Lombiasi replied, we are happy it is not your car. 
Explaining the situation in Jeddah. Analysis by Sky Sports News Craig Slater. We have learned that the explosion was caused by an attack on an Aramco oil plant setting two tanks ablaze. Reuters have reported there are no casualties. How the rebels from Yemen have claimed responsibility for this, they did so soon after the event on a satellite news channel they run. There has been an ongoing conflict in Yemen, government forces aided by a Saudi-led coalition have effectively been in a civil war with rebels for the past seven years in. These rocket attacks have been a fairly regular yet infrequent occurrence and Jeddah has been targeted before but shocking that it could happen during such a big. It took a while for F1 to stand up the reports that it was indeed an attack, that they wanted confirmation from the Saudi authorities. What F1 have said. Thaw is that they have been in close contact with the relevant authorities over the situation, as they still continue to call it, today. The authorities have confirmed that the event can continue as planned. Formula One knew about the possibility of these rocket attacks before they came out here. I spoke to Prince Khalid, who is the chairman of the circuit at Silverstone and he had assured me the air defense systems were adequate enough to stop an attack getting through. Domenicali is on site and able to deal with this situation. It was a little surprising when we heard it was a deliberate attack because what is there to say? What those individuals might attack next? They have never given any indication they would attack the Grand Prix itself of course but does it have to be? Considerate a health and safety risk. It all happened very quickly. Formula One does exist, if I am honest, in a little bit of a bubble away from the significant events from around the race. Tracks around the world and the show carries on. At face value, at least, Formula One and the race promoter admitted that the safety of all our guests continues to be the priority and we look forward to welcoming fans for a weekend of entertainment.